The 2024 Republican presidential primary race is heating up with the field widening this week. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie will join the race tomorrow, but today former Vice President Mike Pence officially filed his candidacy with the FEC. ABC's M. Wynn joins us now live from Washington with the very latest. M. Hey, Liz. Yeah, the RNC announced candidates last week must reach a 1% polling threshold and get donations from at least 40,000 people to qualify for the first Republican debate coming in August. This says former Vice President Pence prepares to battle his old boss for the GOP nomination. Today, former Vice President Mike Pence officially filing papers for his 2024 presidential candidacy with the FEC ahead of his expected campaign launch Wednesday. Pence joining a slate of other Republican hopefuls this weekend at Iowa Senator Joni Ernst's annual Roast and Ride event. Most people know me as Vice President. I hope, uh, should we enter the race, that people would get a better sense of uh, who we are as a family. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis pitching his state as a model for the country. We need to dispense with the culture of losing. Florida shows it can be done. Also there, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who's expected to announce he's running for president tomorrow, and South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Today on The View, Scott not directly answering a question about why he believes there's no systemic racism in America. I believe America could do for anyone what she's done for me, restoring hope, creating opportunities. GOP frontrunner, former President Trump, notably skipping the event, saying in a statement, this week's additions to the presidential race are joining only because Rhonda Sanctimonious has proven to be an inept campaigner. Today, outside the Justice Department, Trump's attorneys seen leaving a meeting with officials after sources say they requested one amid growing fears that federal prosecutors might bring an indictment against Trump regarding his alleged refusal to return classified materials to the National Archives after leaving office, even after receiving a subpoena. His attorneys saying they have questions surrounding the integrity of the investigation. Now, one possible candidate who won't be joining the race, New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu, who explained his decision by saying a large group of candidates might actually help Trump get renominated. By the end of this week, there will likely be 12 Republicans in this race.